Um, hey there. So um, this is Nahar, and um, I haven't made a video in a while, uh, and I want to talk a little bit about that because I've been thinking about it. Um, I'm going to do that uh, sidewaysedly by starting to say this morning I was having a conversation with someone um, and talking about how you know uh, sometimes the problem isn't that when you put the new wine in the um, old wine skins the wine skins burst or that you're worried about the wine skins bursting but um, kind of over and above that that sometimes our um, culture and religious traditions um, are in the business of selling old wine skins for their antiquity so um, it's not that we're afraid of them bursting. We know that they'll burst and we don't put anything in them because we so much adore the vintage wine skins that we have amassed that we like to kind of um, purvey them. We become peddlers of old wine skins. And I think that uh, kind of socially speaking, that's when our culture, the culture of our religious traditions has kind of um, overcome the conviction of our religious traditions. Uh, I also think that there's kind of a, a, a media or a medium uh, version of the same thing, which is that we're very um, fixed on having uh, media products that are that are complete, that are finished, that are that serve a particular point, that address a particular issue, as opposed to kind of works in progress. And there's certainly some validity to that in terms of academics and scholarship. Um, however, I've been thinking recently um, for particular reasons that um, sometimes w what best serves us to do is to think about things in process as opposed to kind of finished and done. So uh, I am recommitting um, on the image of fish to kind of sharing some of my own uh, explorations of faith in general and my faith in particular uh, publicly. I haven't been making videos because um, with some things in my life that are new, um, I haven't had time to sit down and polish and edit um, like I usually do and put the intro and the outro and do all that kind of stuff. And so rather than not connecting with people um, at all, uh, instead I'm hoping that what I'll be able to do is um, connect without edits more frequently um, just from my little webcam thing there, take my computer out wherever it is I am in the world, um, or in my house and just kind of work through what I'm working through and hopefully I'll try and be present and authentic and maybe occasionally articulate and it will be of use to folks but I really think that the next kind of stage for me and maybe larger um, extrapolate for kind of church in general is to acknowledge that we're all kind of members one of another we're, we're bound to one another and that the process that we're all on is somehow bound up in the, in the work and process of other folk, too. So um, the image of fish is getting recommitted to in this new spirit, a spirit of sharing and of connection with my community, uh, both very kind of rooted here in this space in my city and congregation, but also um, kind of out there um, with all of you who live in the world of the Internet beyond and in your cities and homes, too. So that's the, the bottom line there is that I'm hoping that more and more often I'll be able to share more frequently, kind of uh, more off the cuffedly, and um, do that as time permits, and worry less about making sure that things polished. As long as I stand by what I've said and I think it's true, if it's not super articulate, um, hey, I'm not always super articulate, and I'm sure as heck not always polished. Um, I guess the hope is that. Uh, In ditching the old wineskins, um, we don't lose the opportunity to uh, taste the new wine, because I do believe that there um, there is life abundance. And my um, my prayer would be that we all find some means to take taste of it, because it is certainly uh, available, and that living water, I think. Uh, wants to be tasted. And now I gotta go. <laughs> Bye.